Hey, welcome to the Los Panchos restaurant. What can I get you today? I'll take one burrito, please. Sure, coming right up. Please take your desired seat. Your order will be served soon. All right, thanks. Next! Hey, welcome to the Los Panchos restaurant. What can I get you today? Oh, hey, Hannah. I didn't know you work here. I... Uh... Am I... Dreaming? Is this really... Sean? Um, is everything good? Can I order my food now? Uh, yes! I'm uh, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, what would you like to order? Hmm, I'll take one burrito with some soda. Perfect choice! Coming right up! Please take your desired seat. Your order will be served soon. Awesome, thanks. This can't be him. Sean Archen? The most handsome and popular guy in school? The one I had a crush on since first grade? Damn, we never spoke before. It felt... beautiful. Ah, he's so dreamy. Ooh, so what happened afterwards? Did he leave you with his number? Or maybe a kiss as a tip? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, girls. I know that would never happen. Well, duh. It could if you try your best. He's still single, you know. Wait, how do you know? My brother is in the same class as him, and they're actually quite good friends. He usually talks about him, and he even told me that he never had a girlfriend before. What? And you're telling me this now? Wait, do you think you can ask your brother to make Sean date Hannah? Hmm, I'm not sure. What do you say, Hannah? I, uh, I don't know. Maybe? Come on, girl, stop acting now. We know how badly you want to date him. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but... Ah! Help! Someone help me! Huh? What's that noise, guys? Oh no, it sounded like Jasmine. I think she's in trouble. Let's go find her quick. Jasmine, are you okay? Good girl, please save me from him! Save you from who? What are you talking about? There's a guy, he's trying to kidnap me! Oh no, there he is! He will kill me! Please hide me, quick! Be careful! Hey, you! Stop right there! You've been captured! Who are you? And why are you trying to kidnap my friend? Take off that mask of yours right now and surrender yourself! Hey, wait up! What happened? Where is he? Did you get him? <sighs> no, he ran away. Jasmine, are you okay? Who was he? Do you know him? <sighs> no, I, I don't know him. I was in the library all alone and he covered my mouth with something and he tried to kidnap me. I, I wasn't able to see his face. <sighs> it's okay now. You're all safe. Come, let's get you to the nurse. Welcome to Brookhaven News! We have information that may be disturbing. An escaped convict has fled from prison, and he and his gang are working on kidnapping many girls around the Brookhaven town. The police are on the search for the missing prisoner. He is considered to be armed and dangerous. Many citizens around town complaining about their teenage girls being missing from their homes and from the schools, and they are nowhere to be found. 
Recently, we found a dead body of 17-year-old high school students studying in the Brookhaven High School. <gasps> she... she's... What happened, sweetie? Are you alright? <gasps> oh no... That's Jasmine! My best friend! And the parents are forbidding to share her personal information so we can't reveal her name. But as you can see clearly in this picture, that this innocent girl was left here dead. Unfortunately, there is no CC footage available, but the police and the head department are trying their best to find the criminals. Until then, please keep your girls safe and abstain them from leaving the house alone as much as possible. Thank you for watching Brookhaven News. We'll update you soon about the case after a oh, short break. This can't be happening! Hannah! <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. She was our best friend since childhood. It could also be one of us. Huh? What are you talking about? Isn't this obvious? Literally every girl in our school is missing. I guess it's just the three of us now. And we are not any special. I'm sure that once they notice us, they're going to capture us as well. No! Please don't say that! I don't want to die! Oh no. You're right, what should we do? We can only do two things. We can hope that the police will find them soon, which I doubt will ever happen. They only care about themselves. They won't come here until their own daughter, sister, or wife would be in this situation. Or we could just accept our fate and let the worst happen. Or we could just end our lives here. <sighs> hey, um... Hannah? Huh? I heard about your best friend. I'm so sorry for your loss. Was she your really close friend? <sighs> yeah. She was... She and I have been best friends since kindergarten. I can't believe she had to leave me like this. I can feel your pain and sorrows, Hannah. But it's not the end of the world. At least you still have two best friends beside you. You're right. Thank you so much for your kind words, Sean. Hey, um, do you girls mind if I say something? No, of course not. Please, go ahead. What if you girls allow me to protect you until this is all finally over? Please don't think of me as some creep. I just thought maybe this would be a great idea to keep you girls safe. Yes, of course, please! That will really help us. OMG! Are you for real? That would be awesome, Sean! Thank you! Um... If they're okay with it, then... Sure. <laughs> Perfect. Shall we head to our class now? <laughs> sure thing. I wonder where Miss Kathy is? Yeah, why isn't she here yet? Don't worry, girls. She'll be here soon. I hope. <clears throat> Good morning, class. Hope you're all doing well today. So, we just got the news that Miss Kathy, she, um, she has also gone missing since yesterday. We just got informed through her family that she has not been found yet. So, today is your free period. This can't you guys be. can leave the school if you want. And if not, then please stay in the classroom. All right. Miss Kathy, too? Ugh, this is getting out of hand. Why is none of us saying anything about this? Why are we all quiet? <sighs> calm down, Bria. I won't calm down. Do you think this is a joke? They're attacking all the girls in town, and we're here doing nothing. You, you know what? I'm done with you all. I'm leaving this place.
<laughs> Such a scary cat. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. Women deserve this kind of punishment. Plus, there are so many women's populations around the world. Why bother getting rid of some of them? <laughs> Yo, you got it, dude. <laughs> Maybe if you had a sister or a mother who would be in this situation, you'd feel how heartbreaking this is for all of the girls in our society. If you can't feel our pain, then rather shut your mouth, jerks. Ugh, whatever. Good luck escaping from his heck. <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry about that. They were being stupid. Just leave us alone, Sean. We don't want your help. What? Why? What did I do? Are you going crazy, Hannah? Why are you punishing Sean for something he didn't do? Plus, he's doing a favor on us by protecting all of us from the harm that is being caused. Exactly. We don't want to be dependent upon anyone, girls. If we're together, we can fight the harm all by ourselves. Also, I can't trust them guys anymore. Let's just get out of here. Hannah, think about it one last time. I may not come back to you ever again. Please, be a little practical. It's about three lives. Oh yeah? And what do you think you're going to do, huh? How do we know that you're not one of those guys? I think you're saying way too much now, Hannah. How can you say all of that? You need to apologize to him right now! It's okay, Bria. I don't need her apology. If he thinks of me like that, then I guess I can't change your way of thinking about me. Good luck taking care of yourself and your friends. I promise I will never come your way ever again. Oh, wow, Hannah! Do you even realize what you just did? You literally got us in trouble! We're all alone now! How are we able to protect ourselves from the beasts that are out there trying to get us? Girls, can you stop blaming me? We can't change what happened in the past, but we can fix the future. Now, come on, let's get out of here immediately. We're going to my place. Heck no! After what you just said, I don't think I'll come with you. I'll go find Sean and stay with him. You and Sarah go ahead without me. Bye. Uh, Bria! Great! I wish I could go with her, but I can't leave you all alone here. Let's get out of this place. Sure. Help! Sarah! Oh Hannah! no! Maria! Ah! She's in trouble! <gasps> Run! Ah! Ah! Hey! Let her go, you jerk! Ah! girls in the Brookhaven town. There's no escape and no hope at all. No, don't say that. We can still find a way, right? No, I've been here for 10 months and all I've seen is them taking the girls away and those girls never returned. They were all sent to different cities of Roblox. <gasps> I hear some footsteps. Oh no, they're here to take another girl with them. Quick, pretend to be fainted. Hmm, which one to take today? I guess you're coming with me today. Oh 
Oh no! This is terrible! Oh shoot! Is he coming back again? Please not me! Please not me! How did you get up? P please don't harm her! Take me instead! <laughs> this is some true friendship, huh? Alright, get dressed immediately. Meet me outside. S sure Anna, please don't do this for me! You can't put yourself in danger just to protect me! It's okay, Bria. This is fate. But you have to promise me that you will try your best to escape from this place. Both you and Sarah. I love you both so much. I love you so much too, Bestie. I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you so much too. See you. Bye, cruel life. I'm ready. Get inside the car. May I ask where we're going? To the basement. The basement? But the girl said something else. And why do we need a car to go to the basement? There's someone special wanting to meet you. Get in. Now! Um, okay. You may leave now. Sure. Um... Hello? Sir? <gasps> no, no, no! Please don't lock the door! Hey! Open up! <laughs> Please, open up! I don't want to be here! Someone help! God, you're here! Please save me, Sean! I need you! Please, get me out of here! <laughs> huh? Sean, did you do all of this? Oh my god, don't tell me you were behind all of this! Maybe I was. What are you going to do about it, huh? Hmm, tell me. Are you going to scream for help? Do it. Scream as loud as you can. No one can save you from me today. You piece of jerk! I can't believe you turned out to be such a monster! I loved you so much! Why? Why did you do all of this? Tell me! It's because I love women. I love to torture them to death. But you're somehow really special. Now... If you allow me... <laughs> Never! You deserve this! Do you even have any idea how many girls' lives you have been destroying? Do you even have a heart? Or is it also a rock and filthy just like you? You <laughs> little... <laughs> Help! Someone! Help me! I... Can't swim! Help! Hannah! How did you get in here? How dare you try to harm my bestie! Take this! Gah! Let me out! Help! Gah! Gah! Let me out! Help! Hannah! Hannah! Can you-
you hear me? Hannah. I think she needs CPR. Um, I, I guess. Quick, before it's too late. <laughs> Are you okay? I... I'm... okay. Hello? 911? There's an emergency! Please come to Block 11 right now! We have found the most wanted criminal! You little brats, what do you think? Do you think you can get me killed this easily? <laughs> Never prepare to die. Wait, no! Brother, stop it! Sean! <laughs> That's enough. Put your weapons down right now. We have finally caught you red-handed. Sean? <laughs> Hannah? Hey, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling much better now. Thanks for coming. Of course. I also got you one of these. I thought you'd like it. It's Blue Roses. They're your favorite, right? Thanks. How did you know it's my favorite? Um... Let's just say I've been... stalking you for quite a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's cool. I never thought I'd be this interesting for someone to stalk me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... Can I ask you something? About what had happened yesterday. Do you remember any of it? I do, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but Vance is my twin brother. Ever since we were little kids, he's always been the troublesome kid. He would always cause everyone in the family trouble by bullying the kids in school and always getting bad grades. Meanwhile, I was the center of attention of everyone in the school and even at home. I was the most loved son. Even though we looked exactly like each other, everyone would determine each of us by our deeds and actions. Vance was actually diagnosed with a mental disorder ever since we were born, but it only got worse as the years went by. The day when my parents got the news from the school that he accidentally killed a student in school, Mom and Dad decided to take the biggest step in their lives, to send him to the mental asylum when he was just 13. But he escaped from there so many times until he became a famous criminal around the town. He's still known as the masked criminal even though Dad still cared about him a little. But Mom started to hate him to bits, and she only paid attention towards me. And he hated it. So much that he started to hate women, and just wanted to torture them. And guess what? He took revenge as well. He killed my mother, and got into the prison. He escaped once again, and now he was up for something terrible. He trapped each and every woman in the city, and tortured them to death. Even though I had found out about the whole truth, I wasn't able to say anything because I had been receiving death threats from my own brother. But then I had enough, and I decided to help you girls stay safe. But when you rejected me, I felt angry and left. And I couldn't tell you about my evil brother's plan. So you see, I only did that so I could make you aware of the danger that was coming to get you and your friends. I just wanted the best for you. I'm so sorry about everything, Sean. I didn't know you had to go through all of this. And I also did not know that this would happen all so quickly. I'm really sorry. I know it took me some time to realize, but... It's not too late, isn't it? <laughs> of course. I forgive you, Hannah. Thanks, Sean. 
Thank you so much for saving my life as well. Hannah! Guys! Thank goodness you're safe, Hannah. We're so happy to have you back. Thank you guys for coming for me. I missed you girls so much. Aw, we missed you too, girl. After that Vance got the punishment he deserved, he was sentenced to death. No one was ashamed or anything. In fact, everyone started to feel proud of us for supporting everyone. Me and Sean started going to multiple councils and tried helping many people, especially girls who went through this mental trauma, and they were able to be rescued. I felt so happy seeing those smiling faces, and for the first time in my life, I felt so proud of myself. Of course, I couldn't be any grateful to Sean as he helped me a lot, and soon, we became really close friends, and sooner or later, I'm planning to confess my feelings to him, so that we can officially be in a relationship, and one day, we'll start a happy family together. But if there's one thing I've learned with my experience, is that the role of a woman in the development of society is the utmost importance. In fact, it is the only thing that determines whether a society is strong and harmonious or otherwise. Women are literally the backbone of any society, and we should not downgrade them at all, because even if we don't have a relationship with them, we still have a relationship of humanity. And as it is said, the greatness of humanity is not being a human, rather in being humane.